Hey, hey, everybody plays a fool sometimes. There's no exception to the rule. Listen, baby, maybe factual, maybe cruel, but I ain't lying. Everybody plays a fool. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Falling in love is such an easy thing to do. And there's no guarantee that the one you love is going to love you. <laughs> hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family, before I get struck down. Hey, Aries, let's get it in, y'all. I like to wish each and every one of you Rams out there, whether you are March, April, uh, Aries, it don't matter. Happy birthday and happy belated to those of y'all whose birthday I missed. Mine is coming up. Happy birthday to me. And I'm really proud of myself because the last few years I've been able to say that to myself. Um, in spite of all the dogma that has gone on in my life, I haven't celebrated uh, uh, um, rings, as I should say, um, because of religious dogma. And to be honest with you, um, most religious organizations that I've taken a uh, part in or grew up in, um, birthdays were never celebrated. So uh, that's a hard habit that's hard to break. But I am grateful every time I uh, wake up and I'm on this side of the dirt. So um, happy birthday to me <laughs> and all the rest of y'all who may be uh, celebrating a birthday this month. Um, now, if y'all listen, I want to do a little housekeeping. If y'all want to send me a donation or a pledge or um, the, the, the descriptions are in the description box. Um, and I also, as I'm doing this housekeeping, want to say to everybody, you know, you don't necessarily, if you can't donate financially to the channel, uh, you are contributing and helping me a lot if you could just share the video and like the video. Um, if you hate the video, then that's different than put down dislike. Either way it go, um, make a comment. I would like that very much. Also family. Um, when the videos come on, you know, go make a, a smoothie or get you a snack or do what you do uh, to listen to um, the podcast. So those are the things that you can do to support this channel. We're really trying to get this channel up and the subscribers up, y'all. Let's see if we can push them on up push this on up to 5,000. Okay. So, um, I'm looking forward to y'all helping me out. And the only way we can get there is if you share the video. So if each person on this, under the sound of my voice, share the video, then I'm sure that, um, we'll get more subscribers and I would really appreciate y'all. Okay. For that. And also to watch the, uh, commercials. I know they kind of foul, but I don't have any control of it. Uh, just watch it and go do something while it's on. Okay. So I got that out of the way. And I really wanted to, uh, talk about something that a lot of y'all are going to get angry with me about, but I have to do it because it's what I feel people. Um, there's a song that the whining brothers, uh, Marvin and Carvin and Ronald and Michael used to sing. What was that song? I can't trust in a political system. World so rough that it's cold. And ah. with barely existing, you're the only thing right left in the wrong world. Say it with me. You're the only thing right left in the wrong world. Good God Almighty. Anyway, y'all, uh, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about politics. 
tricks today. I spent a lot of time talking to y'all about um, I've been to jail. If y'all won't listen to me when it comes to voting, I don't know who you're going to listen to. You got to at least talk to somebody that was in the trenches and maybe at least um, I ain't talking about went to jail because they had some nefarious behaviors. OK, well, they supposed to have been there. I'm talking about when you really out there consciously trying to support and help your people to register to vote because you believe in voting. Um, and you register so many people that you go to jail. <laughs> because that's what happened to me. I went into an area that was a bunch of wahoos. A bunch of our people that don't give a damn about voting, never have, never uh, did until we brought a campaign to go door to door to register them. In a square block, I think, of about 2,000 families, I think they only had maybe 15 voters, 30 voters, tops. And it was very sad because this is how politics were played in Milwaukee and probably a lot of other uh, little towns and, and big towns, whatever. It's the game of politics. So what we did was we did a grassroots campaign, went around knocking on doors. Talking to people, telling them that their future depended on voting. Okay? And though a lot of y'all not going to like what I got to say right now, I'm going to say it anyway. Once y'all realize that this is a game that they playing, y'all going to tear this motherfucker up. Let me just keep it real for you. When y'all finally realize that the politics of theater Ain't nothing but some bullshit. Y'all going to tear this thing down. And I can't blame you. Okay? Because there's a lot of people who have gone out of town, gone out of country, gone out of... They put they all into America and trying to change politics until they lost their lives. Y'all hear me? Till they lost their freaking lives. Shall I begin to name them? I think our better, um, I think it's better to spend our energy and our time in economics and how we can get the uh, heck out of this place before it's destroyed. <laughs> That's just my opinion. Um, and I'm looking for six warriors. Six warriors that want to make a trip to Africa with me. I want to talk to y'all. I want to be loading up information in the future about uh, staying two weeks so you can see um, to uh, Senegal and to the Gambia to see what opportunities that may present themselves to you. In different country. I think the more I stay here and play with politics, the more I'm dying every day. And a lot of y'all don't see the game. And it's okay. But once you see the game, you have an uh, obligation to yourself and to your family to tell the truth about it. And that's all I can do. I don't think that politics is going to save us out of the wretched condition that we're in. Because it was politics that put us in this condition. Okay? So why would we look to it to uh, resolve it? Um, it is the standard. It is the way of life. It is the uh, it is the only way that they can continue to feed off of us. Okay? Um, you, it, you know, the, the, the parasite needs a host. And it's just that simple. Um... So I want my family to wake up and don't take this personal, but look very carefully into these people running out here telling you to vote, especially the black ones, especially them. And as if some political party is going to save us, there is no political party that is going to say if they ain't saved us yet, 
we ain't going to get saved by a political party. I don't care what Reverend Al Sharpton say. I don't care what Angela Stanton say. I don't care what Roland Martin say. I don't care what any of these people that's talking to y'all about Candace Owens, anybody talking to you about voting. It ain't going to work. It's not going to work. So I'm going to get off here and take my hits. I can't wait to read them. I can't wait to see them. So if you like what you hear, subscribe and share. And I'll see you. Prove me wrong in the next video. Bye-bye.